Hello, beautiful ladies. Happy Monday. I hope you're having a really great start to the week. I wanted to come on today and continue to do some just very basic and straightforward nutritional teaching, nutritional coaching to help you get better results internally and externally, right? Feel amazing in your skin, look really good, get the body fat, body fat off, grow muscle mass, but also really teach you how to have more energy, help regulate your hormones and just feel a lot better. Every single woman, maybe maybe 98% of women, but most all women who come into our program have an issue with balancing and spacing just because they don't know. So I wanna help you with that right now. Okay, so this may look like not eating very much in the day and then just eating a ton at night, right? You may think, well, what's the problem with that? I'm still hitting my macros, right? Here's the problem. When you're eating just huge quantities at night or just one meal, right? It doesn't, it's not necessarily just at night, but when you're eating one huge meal or two huge meals, let's say your body just doesn't need that many macros or your body just doesn't need all that energy. What is it going to do with it? It stores it as fat. It stores it as fat because it's like, great, this is great nutrition. I'm going to store this away for later because I have nothing to do with it right now. That's the opposite of what we want. So that means even if you hit your macros, but you're not balancing and spacing your meals, you could still be gaining fat mass, right? Not what we want. Why else would you balance your meals outside of just body composition? regulating your hormones, regulating your blood sugar, and bringing more health to your metabolism. Because if you're not eating all day, your body's going to say, okay, I need to way slow down. I need to slow everything down going into survival because I'm not being fed right now. That can cause damage long-term, right? Metabolic damage long-term. Also, you're slowing fat loss down. So it's really good just for brain health, for hormone health, for just total body health to really be consistently eating throughout the day. It doesn't have to be five meals, right? If it's three, okay, I like to do four or five, find what works best for you, but I would not recommend like one to two, just massive meals throughout the day. All right, beautiful. So here's a great solution, very easy to implement. Doesn't have to be perfect, but just a rule of thumb. So you can take your total macros divided by the amount of times you want to eat for that day. So if you want to eat four times, let's say you have 200 grams of carbohydrate, divide those carbs by four, 50 grams per meal would be your meal goal, right? If you have 200 grams, <laughs> if you only have 150, obviously it's going to be a bit less. Okay. Maybe it would be like 38, I think. Don't check my math. <laughs> um, okay, cool. And so, again, that doesn't have to be perfect, but you don't want to have like 30 grams of fat for breakfast and then like 0.5 grams of fat for lunch and then like 20 grams of fat for dinner and then like nothing in your snacks. It's like, okay, where can we maybe balance that out a little bit? So instead of having 30 grams of fat in your breakfast and uh, yeah, and like 0.5 grams of fat for lunch, why don't we do like 15 grams of fat and 15 grams of fat? I think for a lot of you ladies, overeating fat is quite a problem, right? Because a lot of proteins have fat in there. Just a lot of foods in general have fat. And so blowing your fat is really easy. This is why it's so nice to see in my fitness pal, um, your macros by meal. If you don't know your macros by meal, that's a huge problem because there's a massive variable that's not being accounted for, and it's going to drastically affect your results and just how you feel in your body, energy-wise, mental clarity-wise. So make sure you can see how many grams of each macro you can see per meal. It really, really, really helps. Now, um, I do have example meal plans that go through just a lot of really healthy meals. It shows them split up. It shows the macro by meal. If you're interested in seeing these meal plans, just comment meal plans below. All the resources are totally free and I'll send those over to you. You can get meal ideas and you can see, okay, you know, how did she space out macros per day? Another thing that we have, again, totally free is if you're like, what are healthy carbs? And some of you may know, but some of you may be like, oh, I just need more examples. We have um, healthy food options for each macro. We have a bunch of those resources as well. So you can comment like healthy food options and I'll send you those as well. It just really helps like mapping out your meals and stuff like that. Ladies, say hi as you're coming on. I forgot to say that. I always mean to say that. I get so excited about teaching. I think I just always just dive right in. Cool. 
Great. Oh, yeah. Um, this was something I was actually just talking to a client with today. She was just eating a lot at night because she's like, I'm so busy. She's a realtor. So, hey, Corey. So she's just so busy, so busy. And she's like, I just don't have time to eat during the day. So I'm eating. Hey, Neen. Oh, I love it. Um, so she's like, I just don't have time to eat during the day. What do I do? I'm like, yeah, this is a great question. This is a very valid problem. Having on the go foods really helps. You've probably heard me say this a million times, but I love my lean body pre-made shakes, 40 grams of protein. You don't need to refrigerate them. It's amazing. I take them everywhere, 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 because it's just such an easy like drink, 40 grams of protein, literally. And so that's one I would definitely recommend. Hey, Mary, got you in on the meal plans. Yep. We'll get those sent over today for sure. Um, and then dried fruit is a really great one because it, it, you don't have to refrigerate it. It doesn't take up much space in your pocket or your purse, but you're getting vitamins and minerals and carbohydrates, right? We need that energy, especially as weightlifting women. Really quick, some of you ladies say, why is your Queens of Iron macro calculator so much higher carb than these other calculators? It's like, because it's designed for women who lift weights. Lifting weights, our primary fuel source when we lift weights is carbohydrates. So we need to be fueling our body with enough carbohydrate. Otherwise, we're not fueling our body to accommodate for the demands it requires. Actually, I'll tell you another example. Um, sorry, I kind of tangented it. I'll come back to the gal with, um, actually, let me let me just do one train of thought at a time. So um, our gal who was saying we, she doesn't have time to eat, right? So pre-made uh, lean body shakes is a great one. Um, you can do the dried fruit and then nuts. Those three, it's like protein, carb, and fat, right? Great vitamins and minerals in all three. So those ones are wonderful. Another thing is you can get like the um, snack size frozen lunchbox from Amazon. It's called Packet, P-A-C-K-I-T. I think it's one word. You put the whole lunchbox in the freezer. Mine sits in my purse. So you can do string cheese. You can do a uh, single serve cottage cheese. You can do uh, the hummus, like little, the Costco, like pre-packs of hummus and vegetables. And so you have like this mini cooler, but it does fit in your purse or your backpack or anything like that. Um, for a lot of our nurses, we tell them to just put stuff in their pockets. And so a lot of that is like jerky, dried fruit and nuts for really like on the go, like truly no time to eat. So that just helps give your body nutrients throughout the day. Okay, great. Neen, I love it that you just ordered lean body. It's so good. Oh my gosh. I love them. I put them in my coffee too for creamer. I love it. Cool. So let's, um, I want to actually answer this question really quick. I do have more um, to share, but Amy, this is a good question. Lovely. Hello. I want to say hi, but I'm sorry. I don't have authorization to see your name, but hello. I see you. <laughs> um, okay. So, oh, I love you. You're amazing. So Miss Amy said, speaking of higher carbs, I'm on vacation and I'm not able to lift for the week. Should I temporarily lower my carbs? I love this question. I'm going to share my philosophy Hey, Amber, um, I'm going to share my philosophy on it and just know that you got to find what works best for you, right? But this is a good question. I had an, actually a client ask this too. She's, um, I think it's the exact same situation. She's going on vacation and she's not lifting and she's like, should I lower my calories but not carb? And I actually said no. She's going to be really active. So I'm going to kind of talk through both, Amy. But for you, Personally, I like to say no. And the reason is because I don't like to like baby the body. I like to get it really resilient. I like to get it really, really resilient. And so sometimes we have to challenge it. So if we're constantly making these minor tweaks for very short-term lifestyle changes, I just feel like you can get more out of it by teaching your body how to process and maintain your set point through the differences of environment, circumstance, nutrition, that type of thing. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So I personally would say no. Um, stay really active. Choose high quality food choices. If it was like three weeks, five weeks, six weeks, yeah, I would probably lower, maybe not carb, maybe carb, maybe calorie. So we guess probably carb. Uh, but just like a week, personally, I wouldn't. I'm all about creating resiliencies in bodies because that also helps us just maintain results for life, right? Sustainability and creating a new set point is so vital. What's a set point? So some ladies go through the gain loss, gain loss, gain loss, right? That's because their set point is usually that higher weight. So their body, 
it's like they go on a diet, they lose the weight, but then they gain it back. Why do you keep gaining it back? It's because your set point is up there. And so by tracking your macros, getting to a weight that you feel really comfortable, really healthy at, doing the reverse diet process, then teaching your body and your lifestyle, it's about lifestyle too, how to maintain, like how to live with maintenance macros. Because ladies, when you feel amazing in your skin and you have more food you get to eat, that is a different level of discipline that we do have to practice, right? So when you practice lifestyle at maintenance calories, you're actually teaching your body a new set point. And so you can overeat or go do something like vacation or whatever, and your body will naturally come back to that set point. It may take four days to a week or so to regulate back down, but it's so much better long term. Yeah, Amy, perfect. Yeah, I hope that helps up. Cool. Ladies, any other questions that come up, just let me know or uh, post them in the comments. I'll still share. I still have a few other things I want to share, but I'll come back to all the questions too. I love it. Great. Great, great, great. Okay, let's see. Okay, so here's the other thing I really wanted to harp on because I there is a lot of misinformation in the industry. We all know that. Oh my gosh. That's why here at Queens of Iron, we are so focused on research-backed information within the last three to five years, peer-reviewed research. If it is not peer-reviewed research, it is not considered a trusted source. So only look at peer-reviewed research and we take it very seriously to just educate, teach, and train with the most up-to-date research, okay? Um, I, I do research reviews too. A uh, body shaping one is coming really soon. I'm excited for that one. Okay, so it's not just about filling your macros, ladies. It's about filling with high quality foods. There is balance. We should have play foods. We should be able to go enjoy life, go out for a glass of wine or a drink or go do this or go do that and not feel bad, not feel totally off track, not blow it. Because if your macros or your diet or your lifestyle or whatever doesn't allow you to do those things, so it's keeping you restrictive, it's not sustainable. So it's not actually teaching you lifestyle tools so it can only take you so far right? Because you need to enjoy your life too. Or where's the mental health, right? Wouldn't then, if you're not able to just live a lifestyle you enjoy, wouldn't the mental health degrade as the physical health went up? But how does that make sense, right? So we really need to have them both balanced really well. Everyone's lifestyle will look different. Alcohol is a huge debate right now. I have a pretty large network of trainers and alcohol is a massive debate. Trainer going after trainer. And there is not very much research out there showing like really what happens with alcohol and fat loss. There is some certainly. I've done research reviews on it. There is some. A lot of it is lifestyle. So you drink a drink and then you're like, woo, Reese's Cups. Or like, I'm going to go drink more, right? And so they're like, oh, I drink alcohol. I gain weight. It's like, okay, is it the alcohol or is it your habits, <laughs> right? Most of the time it's your habits. Alcohol does affect fat loss. It really does. But does it affect it to the drastic amount that some people say? I don't think so, because I think in that point, it's uh, lifestyle, right? So I would say the majority of our clients do have alcohol, I think at least 60%, maybe 75%, and they still get great results. Is it the exact same results as our clients who are sober? Who's to know? Because every woman's body is so different, right? So it's like, we just got to meet you where you're specifically at and you need to meet yourself where you're specifically at rather than saying, I have to cut out this to achieve this. I have to cut out sugar to achieve a healthy fit lifestyle. It's like, no, you don't love. It's just moderation, right? Making sure that you're eating a good amount of fruits, vegetables, and fiber every day, then allowing yourself a treat or, you know, whatever your thing is. But again, like, 70, 80% of your foods throughout the day are healthy and whole and nutritious and have a lot of vitamins and minerals in there. And then that other 20, 30%, have fun, go play, fit it in your macros, but then you're taking care of your body health-wise, you're seeing fabulous results, you're feeling way better in your skin, you're feeling more confident, and you have a lifestyle that you love. With all of those combined, especially hitting your macros when you have balance and play foods, teaches you habits. It teaches you healthy, sustainable habits. The more you stack your habits, the easier it is to live out the lifestyle, right? Excuse me. Some of our clients don't even track macros anymore. They do maybe two days a week because they've been with us for so long. They have so many habits stacked. 
they just love it. They're just living their life, doing their lifting program, like just loving life. So macros are not forever. They're an amazing tool. I still track macros, but sometimes I also only track twice a week because I ha I, I've lived in the body I love for three years now, actually coming on four years. Like I don't, I don't need to keep chasing after a goal. It's already there, right? Now it's just living out your lifestyle, living as a healthy and fit woman, totally. And it takes practice, believe me. Ladies, if y'all are new to me, I used to have a massive problem with binge eating. Bad, bad, bad. I totally grew up with it as a normal thing. Oh my gosh, it took me like three years. I'm not joking. Three years of consistent effort to stop binge eating. So just know like nothing's ever perfect. No one just wakes up like this health fitness guru. It's like we all struggle. We all have felt so uncomfortable in our skin. We have all not known what the heck to do in the gym. Feel loss. Is my form right? Like what am I even doing right now? I'm so frustrated. I hate how my clothes fit. We've all been there. So don't worry. Just give yourself the grace and the time to grow and follow the journey. Great. Um, let me grab this question. So I'm on a quick three day vacation. So this question was a perfect time to answer to, to ask that. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, especially three days. Like, don't even worry about it. Okay, great. Um, cool, ladies. That's all I have for you today. Just, you know, real quick. And oh, I guess it's been 16 minutes. I love to educate you guys. It's such a blessing, honestly. Um, great. So don't forget if you want um, like meal plan examples of just healthy foods, or if you want a healthy food in each category option, uh, just comment like meal plans or healthy food options below. Totally free. We'll send you over those resources just to help you know what to eat, what's healthy, how are we balancing and spacing our foods out. Eating every two and a half to three hours is a great rule of thumb, you know, just really giving your body those solid nutrients. For those of you who do want to work with a professional where it's like, I don't really want to think about any of this. I just want to have the accountability. I want to know exactly what to do and I'm just going to do it and see great results and totally establish this lifestyle. Comment coaching below. That is what we do. That is our specialty. Comment coaching. We'll have a very laid back chat just in the Facebook DM. Just share about your goals. We'll share how we can support you. We'll talk through it all and then we can just decide what's best for you. Okay. Make sure to get you, get you taken care of. Okay, ladies. Wonderful. Have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, this Wednesday, we're going to be doing the live q and I'll post that event so you can ask any questions and then I'll come on and we'll just start solving problems. Okay, great. You ladies are wonderful. Thank you for being here and have a great day.